Hello, my friends. This is a garden tour on August the 14th, 2023. This is the back of our house. This is the garden. And they're having a party right across the street from me, and I hope it won't be too loud. But it looks a little different here than it did for the last uh, tour that I showed you. So I don't think I even had this particular garden bed built yet. But this is where the peas and beans are growing. And I'm sure we didn't have them planted yet. So they, they're climbing up the fence. And here are the peas. They're not getting very tall yet, but they're very sturdy. And I don't know if I told you last time, this thing is a branch off of a tree. And we call them fence trees here because when you stick them in the ground, they grow and they grow roots and then they stay there. And you can see, you see the little tiny twigs that are growing? Those are just sprouted out since Charlie cut these branches off of our fence trees. So that's how we make fences around here. We stick a branch in the ground and it grows. But let me show you this. Well, first I'll show you over here. This is my original garden bed. And I've had all kinds of trouble with the soil because it's just hugely difficult. <laughs> all clumpy. So anyway, I'm successfully harvesting arugula. Been eating that a lot and lettuce and Swiss chard and kale. The kale is in danger around here because the butterflies, like anything in the cabbage family, and that includes kale, and they will lay eggs on the leaves, which then become caterpillars, which then make short work of my plants. You can see right here one leaf that's been eaten a lot. So I come up here every day and I check the leaves and squish the eggs if they're there. These are potatoes. I don't, they don't look very healthy. We'll see how they are when I dig them up. Some more Swiss chard over here, some flowers. Over here, more lettuce. It's starting to go to seed, but we've been eating the lettuce got garlic growing and flowers, and more Swiss chard, more potatoes and lettuce. So um, in spite of everything, we actually are having some success with the garden. And I noticed just today that we're starting to get some ripe little um, cherry tomatoes here. It's kind of sprawling all over the place. More Swiss chard. And then in this bed, I should have given you the overview. We've got four of these beds that are shaped like this with the stones. I hope I'm not moving too fast here. Yes. Okay, so these were the original beds. And they have done okay. Not great. I've got carrots here, and I've harvested about half of them so far. This is parsley. Italian parsley and when I planted it I thought it was uh, uh, celery. <laughs> it's not celery, it's parsley. And here are beets. We've harvested over half of the beets and I've got some new ones planted. Here's some new baby beets in here. And over here are the tomatoes, the bigger tomatoes. I harvested three of them yesterday. I'll show you a picture of those later. Uh, but anyway, you see here that I have a very fine netting over these plants because what was happening is the birds were, as soon as I'd get a nice tomato, they'd start pecking on it and basically ruin it. So I decided it was time to protect my garden. So I put it over here, and this bed, which was a brand new bed the last time I sent you an update, um, is now partially planted, but I've covered the whole thing with this fine netting, 
and I think it's gonna be the the answer. I've got zucchinis down in here. There's actually a decent sized one in there. I started by putting them over here and they got completely wiped out. I'm not sure what got them, but something did. And I'm growing lettuce. It's getting nice. I haven't harvested any of this yet, but I will start selectively harvesting. And over here, lots of arugula. Now, arugula is also in the same family with the kale, the kind that I have to watch for the eggs. So that's why I put those in here.